Good morning, Mary. I'm just on my way to the well. It's such a nice day for a trip to the well. Yes, a very nice day, a wonderful day. A wonderful day. Oh, you must mean the baby. Deborah and Aaron must be very proud. Yes, they are very proud. He's a beautiful baby. They're back at the house showing him off to a crowd. But that's not exactly what I meant. Mother and father have given their consent. Consent? Yes. They've agreed it's time for me to be married. Married? Yes. Isn't it wonderful? Yes, wonderful. You don't sound very happy. Oh, no, I am happy for you. I was thinking of me. Why is it that you never visit my family? You pass by our house without saying a word. You run from the synagogue without a greeting. If you've even asked of us, I haven't heard. It didn't used to be that way. Once you were there every day. Surely your mother and father have prospects and plans for a future much grander than this. I hear they are lining up out on your doorstep with so many suitors I wouldn't be missed. Oh, but you know that's not true. You know that I do miss you. Maybe you should stop by this evening. Then you would see how mistaken you are. <laughs> are you sure that I wouldn't be interfering? I'm sure there'll be others there pleading their cause. Let them come, I don't care. Just tell me that you'll be there. I'll be there. Later tonight, then? We're counting the hours. Spend every day just a few steps away with hammer in hand. I'd see you walk past, hear your voice, hear you laugh, and forget where I am. So the years. 